Hey guys, Nova Explosion. Welcome back to more Shadow Hearts Covenant. It does not say Covenant at the title screen for whatever reason. Let's load this up. We're in the heart ray. I think I got the stellar chart or whatever. Oh, Crest, not Stellar Chart. Stellar Chart is the other game. Uh, what, what is it? From the New World. They call them Stellar Charts. I think we already got the Crest, didn't we? I think we already got your lottery item. I think that's the last thing I did. I had to reload a couple of times, but I think I finally got it. I mean, like, yeah, I think we're good to go. I think it was like a, it was like a really good Crest. Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> did I just like reset Crests? I think I might have just reconfigured my setup. Wait, I don't want that. I wanted to just look at what the crest I got was. I think it was like a level 9 or something. It was a pretty good one. It's a level 5. It had like... Maybe it was the Cure Aqua Edge one? Yeah, I think it was that one. We are gonna move on. We gotta talk to this guy here. We gotta get ourselves to England. Look for my man, Roger Bacon. We have to talk to you to initiate the whole thing we're doing. Are you all set? Yeah, the Vigilante Leader. That's what it's called. Yeah, I'm all set. Yeah, there's are already out on patrol. Good luck to you guys. Is this a Leonardo Bear? They had, like, that accessory in Shadow Hearts 1 that, like, prevented certain status ailments. Or I think it was insta-kill. It was a status ailment. Bum, bum. We'll be patrolling the northern part of town where the warehouses are. You take the south, be on your guard now. Oh, that bandit sure is scary. I hope we don't run into him. Not that way. We're supposed to take the south end of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought there was like a treasure chest or something, or maybe there was something I missed. You know me, Karen. Or do you? No steering wheel. You saw that before. I think that's gonna be relevant soon enough. You joined the vigilante group to earn the ship fare? Well, just don't get hurt now or they'll spoil your trip. Doesn't look like they're open yet. Yeah, we interacted with that door already. Um, um. Ah, I give up, I give up. Time out, time out. Hey, that attack is illegal. Gah. Those voices. Over there. What was it? Hey, Pierre, you see anything? Gerard, Pierre is the other guy. Well, if it isn't Yuri and friends, fancy seeing you here. Yeah, Pierre is the other guy, I'm pretty sure. I can't- I always forget which one's Pierre and which one's- what's his name again? Gerard. I forget which one's Gerard, which one's Pierre. A lot. Not this way. You see anything? What, you joined the vigilante group too? We don't need any more hooligans in this town if you ask me. Oh, nothing. Pay no attention. I wasn't talking about it yet. Don't you worry. We'll be out of your hair in no time. Ship won't be leaving, yada yada, get the bandit. What is this? What happened here? <laughs> Who's that? Can the forces of darkness descend in the name of justice? This fist! In the name of truth, these muscles! In the name of honor, this blood! <laughs> oh, it's him. Champion of truth and justice, Grand Papillon, ready to fight all evil doers. Dude, he's a phantom thief? No one told me there was a phantom thief in this if game. You can face the unfettered fury of my rippling muscles, then come on! What? Huh? Alright, buddy. Excuse me, sir, you have like a whatever that's supposed to be, like a giant casket or whatever on your side we'll see how many favors that's gonna do for you oh yeah you have the soul comet now this is wind i never even noticed that 
Hit him with the Soul Comet, Blanca. I forgot your ring is incredibly small. <laughs> I did that to myself, though. <laughs> Yo, nice Soul Comet. I love the Soul Comet. Uh, hit me up with the Radius. This is the vampire-looking one, I think. I think we need to get some fusions. We probably have a lot of soul energy from that time we were stuck in the subway tunnels. And get him with the light skill. That is also incredibly small. I think we do have technical ring on Yuri and Blanca, though, which is why. All right, Grand Papillon, you're getting pretty low. I'm just gonna try different elements. I don't really know if you're weak to any particular element. It's kind of just use whatever my strongest attacks are. Yeah, that should be fine. Probably should get a combo attack so you can't really heal. Out of here. Yeah, let's start the combo with you. Combo with Yuri. And you get another soul comic going. I went for the perfect already. I don't need the other perfect. One perfect is enough. Hey, don't drain touch again. He's actually healed you like kind of a lot, and I would rather you just not. Perfect. Too early. Alright. Get this going. I almost pressed triangle. I saw green and I almost pressed triangle. Gotta wait it out though. Uh, let's hard hit you. Easy. Combo plus five. It's so over. Have the wolf doggo kill you here. Blanca best character confirmed. Oh. Key attack down one and seal vitality. 250 cash, not half bad. Oh yeah, we have a ton of soul energy. We have to go to the graveyard once we get the chance. Huh? <laughs> you pack a pretty good punch. Time for me to go now, kids. We'll meet again. He turned into a bat. Well, he's certainly good at running away. Hmm, I'm sure I've met him before. Where's my boy Keith? I miss Keith. And that's what happened. I'm afraid we let him get away. He changed into a bat? What a very odd character indeed. He's probably a vampire. Have you ever played a Shadow Hearts game before? Or just know some common knowledge? But you people must be awfully good to drive the great Papillon off. I'm truly impressed with all of you. Okay, Cole. Show these people to the shop. Get this over with quickly. Yes, Mayor. Come to the south end of town later. If I feel like it. Alright, folks. Hurry up and catch that bandit, you hear? You'll be handsomely rewarded. Hey, what's up, Yokai? Arieta as well. I can't believe you made the bandit run away. You must be pretty good. The bandit changed into a bat. Sounds like some kind of magic trick. He's a vampire! Come to the south end of town later. Do you think the great Papillon knows my boy Keith? I miss Keith. Save up. Over here! What did you want us to come here for? You're gonna buy us a meal or something? Look at that! Hmm? It's a steering wheel. A seagull, huh? Oh, you meant that place. No, that's the name of the tavern, not that. Look there! Oh, hey. Huh? 
Grand Papillon? Hmm, I just know I've seen that guy somewhere before. Game M. Okay, that, that was just all those scroll for whatever reason. Here's a little advance. I'll give you the other half once you've taken care of that guy. Got it? If you know where he is and who he is, why don't you guys catch him yourself? Uh, good luck now. Hey. We're counting on you. We know you can do it. Bye bye we Just like get this over with. Well, there he goes. What do you want to do? Want to close in? Hmm, something's odd. If he really was such a big bad bandit, would little kids be hanging around him? We already took half the money. Fury. Let's at least try talking with him anyway. Yeah, good call. You guys. Hi there. Okay, okay, just relax. Don't get so worked up. I don't know what the mayor told you, but I'll never let you take us alive. <sighs> Tell me why you are stealing and causing so much trouble in the town. Karen, it should be obvious if you play the other the RPGs. From the mayor and his cronies. Store? It's my treasure, I'm afraid. The mayor wants to get his hands on it. Oh, that greedy mayor. Oh, yeah? What is this treasure, anyway? The deed to this store. Three months ago, on his deathbed, the man who built this store told me about a treasure buried beneath here. Treasure? Is it really true? Well, I've been living here for 30 years, and that's the first I've heard of it. But ever since, they've been bullying me to get me to give up the store. So the vigilante group... Yes, that's right. So that's why, Grand Papillon. Right again. The money and oh, we uh, should keep it sure why not now nah, they gave it to us we should run now's our chance we should keep the money it'll help us afford like all the equipment i love yoakim's like um like voice delivery basically i was gonna say like mc like voice he sounds like he can like be the announcer of an m like a tournament or something like an mc you're gonna give the money back to his ma- No, I'm not gonna give him his money back. Then I'll reward you- Nope. Well, I guess I never get a dinner. Do I want a dinner or do I want to give the money back? Or do I want the money? What do I- What do I value here? I can get free dinner or a dinner anywhere else. I think it's obvious which solution is best. My man Gerard can hit me up with a dinner if he wanted to. <laughs> Give the mayor a beatdown. Yeah, I ever played Breath of Fire 3 where we go to the McNeil Manor because he was a greedy scum. And then we go beat him up. Classic Breath of Fire 3 scenario. Hey, you're back. So what happened? Did you get him? I hate how good-natured you people are. What's the meaning of this? We changed our minds. Sorry, but we quit the vigilante group. Hey, you guys going back on your word? No, we just found out the truth, that's all. And you're the ones who are in the wrong here. Oh, and I almost had my hands on the treasure, too. Don't think you'll be leaving here alive, Cole. Men, take care of him. Alright, cool, murder. 
If I get to lose the money, then I get to murder these scum. I'll take what I can get. I'm built different. I'm too good. Oh wow, you guys died in one hit. You guys suck. You guys are not good at your jobs in the slightest. This guy has a nail bat. I missed and still killed you. It's it's just that easy. I'm sure that Yuri didn't even like think to keep the money. <laughs> Seems a little Good job, Cornelia. It feels a little out of character that Yuri just wouldn't even ponder, like, hey, like, we should probably keep this money. Like, at least for a second. And then, like, Karen would convince him and be like, oh, Yuri, we can't do that, etc., etc. Strange, but whatever. Eep. Help. <laughs> no. You ready for some more? No, we, uh, fine, we're leaving. Yes, yes, fine. Well, we did get the beat on them, but in an anticlimactic way. Blanca said it best, by the way. Damn you. You won't get away with this. Blanca's words ring true. Alright, cool. Back to the Grand Papillon. My oh, man, what's up? Ah, oh, you're back. Got the mayor to see things our way. I don't think he'll bother you anymore. We gave him a good talking to. Really? That's great. Come on in and rest, everybody. Oh, they they call him Joachim now. I can call him Joachim. I call him Grand Papillon to avoid the name, but Joachim. Now we're in the clear, though. What's the matter, Granny? What happened? The children, Yuma and John. Calm down, Granny. What happened to the children? The vigilante group, those hooligans, took them. They said if we wanted them back, we had to bring the deed to the wine cellar. <laughs> that expression from Joachim. Are you serious? Those scum. We can't let them get away with this. Now can we? We should help. Oh. You bet. Of course we'll help. You can access party members. No? Yo, let's go. You can change the members of your party. Yo, Joachim. There's a more detailed explanation about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I. Uh, for, for people who haven't played the game, I'll do it. But, like, it, it's... Even if you haven't played an RPG, it's kind of self-explanatory. But, you know... Show off all the tutorials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the game actually, like, does it for me with these tutorials. Now I really wish we kept the money if the hooligans and the... Vi if the vigilante group was gonna, like, kidnap the kids anyway. Now I really wish we just stole their money. Classic RPG. Not letting me take matters into my own hands. Yeah, I, I, I got it. I got it. Here's the question. Who do I take out? Probably Geppetto? Keep Blanca in. Eh, probably Geppetto for a bit, and then later we'll take out Karen. The wine cellar is just outside the town. You be careful now. Please, God, protect Yuma and John. I'll pray for their safety. Does this game, this game doesn't force you to use Yuri, does it? No, I think it does. Does it? Maybe it doesn't. Oh, they don't. Well, I want to use Yuri. Yeah, From the New World doesn't force you to use, uh... Shadow Hearts 3 doesn't force you to use, uh, Johnny, so... I was curious. The original Shadow Hearts, you had to use Yuri. I mean, Yuri's, like, the best character, so, like, of course you're gonna want to use Yuri. Yeah, best character gameplay-wise. But, um, you know... You would want to use Yuri in the first Shadow Hearts anyway. Because you get all the really cool fusions. And today. We need to go to the wine cellar, actually. We don't even need to be here. Uh, what is Joachim got going on here? I should probably take a look. Bremery. Barrier, Earth Edge, and Rock Rot. I mean, like, that's fine for now. 
Yeah, I want to go back and find that. I think the steering wheel can be interacted with now with Joachim here. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else, or maybe it happens later. Because the way Joachim works is really unique. He uses, like, weapons based on, like, what he finds. So right now he's using, like, a piece of lumber. <laughs> Which is a unique way of fighting. And I know at some point you can, like, look around for certain weapons for Joachim to use. I thought the steering wheel was one of them, but I guess not. Maybe later in the game we'll get some. It is really funny. <laughs> 